ATL is aiming to produce pure solid-state batteries in small quantities for the first time in 2027. A company representative describes large-scale production as still challenging. This is the first time ever that the world's largest manufacturer of electric car batteries has outlined a timetable for the introduction of solid-state batteries. Contemporary Amperex technology is targeting small-volume production of all solid-state batteries by 2027, an executive said, marking the first time the battery maker has announced a mass production timetable for the new batteries. On a score of 1 to 9 using technology and manufacturing maturity as a rating system, KATL's all-solid-state battery development is currently at a 4, the company's chief scientist Wu Kai said April 28th at the China International Battery Fair 2024 event. Hello and thank you for joining us. Before we delve further, we kindly ask you to support us by liking this video subscribing and activating notifications to stay updated on our latest content. Remember, sharing is caring. A senior CATL scientist named Wu Kai made the announcement yesterday at the China International Battery Fair in Shanghai that CATL is aiming for small-scale production of solid-state batteries by 2027. He is quoted on Chinese portals such as CNEV Post as saying that the maturity level of the technology and the manufacturing process can currently be categorized at 4 on a scale of 1 to 9. CATL wants to be at 7 to 8 by 2027, which is equivalent to the production of solid-state batteries in small quantities. With regard to potential mass production, Wu said that challenges remain including costs. According to Wu, solid-state batteries have great potential, especially in terms of energy density, which is expected to reach 500 watt-hour per kilogram. Currently, lithium-ion batteries with liquid electrolyte reach their limit at 350 watt-hour per kilogram. It is difficult to continue to improve, Wu is quoted as saying, at Auto China in Beijing, CATL just presented its new Shengxing Plus LFP battery, which is designed to help electric cars achieve a range of more than 1,000 kilometers. CATL has been involved in the research and development of solid state batteries for more than a decade. According to Wu, an R&D team with almost 1,000 employees is now working on solid state batteries and new battery systems. Cooperations with universities and other players in the battery industry are also intended to advance the topic. At the beginning of the year, the business newspaper Nikkei Asia revealed that a number of major Chinese battery and car manufacturers had formed an alliance to jointly drive forward the commercialization of solid-state batteries. Among them is CATL. The Chinese government is said to be the initiator of the alliance. The consortium called China All Solid State Battery Collaborative Innovation Platform, KSIP, was founded in January with the aim of developing and producing competitive solid state batteries and establishing a supply chain by 2030. CATL is working toward a goal of gaining a 1% share of the all solid state battery market. But there are still many scientific issues waiting to be resolved, he said. The research and development and mass production of all solid-state batteries is a very tough job, and CATL has cooperated with various parties such as the battery industry chain and universities, according to Wu. KTL has accumulated more than a decade of R&D in all solid-state batteries and has formed a solid-state battery and new system battery R&D team of close to 1,000 people, he said. CATL's part announced the 150 kilowatt-hour semi-solid-state battery when it unveiled the ET7 sedan at the January 9, 2021 Neo Day 2020 event.
After several delays, NEO management said earlier this month that the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack would be operational in late April. The company conducted several range challenges on the pack this month, achieving a real world range of more than 1,000 kilometers on the ET 7. Ouyang Mingao, an academician at the Chinese Academy of Sciences and a professor at Tsinghua University, told a solid-state battery forum on January 22 that China needs to develop transitional technology routes, such as semi-solid-state batteries, while guarding against the disruptive risks posed by radical all-solid-state battery technology routes. Ouyang argued that 1% is an important market share threshold for automotive technology. In the process of replacing liquid batteries, an all-solid-state battery share of 1% would represent a breakthrough, not 50%, he said. Liquid batteries have a life cycle of at least another 20 years, and it will take at least 20 to 30 years for solid-state batteries to reach 50% market share. Ouyang said. According to Nikkei Asia, the alliance includes CATL as well as battery manufacturers Kelb, Eve Energy, Svolt, Goshen High Tech, and BYD battery subsidiary FinDreams Battery. There are also several state owned manufacturers from the automotive industry as well as the private companies BYD and NEO. Other players include representatives from the government and academia. According to the Japanese newspaper, influential state-sponsored funds are also on the CASIP membership list. At the opening ceremony in January, Ouyang Mingao, a professor at Tsinghua University, was among those who gave a speech. Nikkei Asia quotes the following passage from this speech. We need to be prepared for the risk that all solid-state battery technology could overturn China's advantage in automotive batteries. He added, AI is changing the way we do materials research and development, and it will vastly accelerate the speed of all solid-state battery R&D. By around 2030, we will have a higher chance of achieving a breakthrough for the industrialization of all solid-state batteries. Ergo does not want China's market-leading position in electric car batteries to be challenged by a technological leap towards solid-state batteries. Against this backdrop, the new consortium will primarily focus on basic research, key technologies, the joint development and production of electric vehicles with solid-state batteries and the establishment of a corresponding supply chain. It should be emphasized that the project, which is coordinated from Beijing, is bringing together competitors who are fighting aggressively for market share. One example cited by Nikkei Asia is the fact that CATL has sued its competitors, Kalb and Svolt, for patent infringement. The rivals are bringing together the initiatives launched in South Korea, Japan, North America and Europe to commercialize solid-state battery technology, which could outpace the Chinese industry. Toyota, for example, wants to launch the first electric cars with solid-state batteries in 2027 and 2028, while Nissan also plans to do so in the 2028 financial year. That concludes today's discussion. Please remember to like, comment, and share this content with fellow enthusiasts and relevant forums. Thank you, and we eagerly anticipate your presence in our next episode,